Hey everyone, I'm Dustin Steiner with Tillmore, and today I'm excited to be talking about the new PowerOx 240. I'm with Doug Zare, our service manager, and we're going to go over some of the comparisons between the, the previous 220 PowerOx and the new 240. And a lot of these comparisons and features really come from your feedback, um, and, and, and so we're going to continue to learn, and, and we appreciate continued feedback. Yeah, and probably one of the first things you're going to notice is the engine. Um, the original Power Ox had a Briggs & Stratton XR 3.5 horse engine. And since we've gone to a Honda GX120, uh, similarly powered, about 3.5 horse, um, but why? So when we've gone to a lot of field days and shows over the years, um, people ask us, well, don't you have a Honda engine? I guess it's, it's just common. It's something that people are familiar with. And uh, not that we've had any trouble with the Briggs and Stratton. want to stress that. But feeling the, or taking the feedback from our customers, we've given this, um, used the, the Honda on this model. In doing that, the other thing you'll notice, um, the Briggs and Stratton had the 6 to 1 gearbox reducer. And on the new design, we've been able to accomplish that speed reduction through a series of pulleys. And that's allowed us to eliminate that gearbox, center up the engine, and uh, I think provided some other benefit to the, to the whole system too. Yeah, it is, I mean, benefit of, there's less engines that have the six to one reducer yes. available on it. Mm -hmm. so, uh, one benefit is future repowering or other options in the future that mm -hmm. that, that gives. Mm -hmm. So, and, yeah, and no need for maintenance then on a gearbox. Exactly. Um, another thing, uh, we've kind of put a lot of kind of time in the throttle, uh, not the throttle, but the handlebar area, um, and and really. We did add a throttle to the handlebar. That was one thing that was asked quite a bit. Um, and why didn't we have it in the first one? Um, well, you know, as we were learning as well, along with a lot of you, um, we did feel. Um, it wasn't a bad omission because the, the cultivation is important to have consistency in how you're doing it. And so mid cultivation throttling wasn't something we really did or felt like um, especially newer operators should be doing. And so we wanted to be a little more careful with that. And that's why we kind of omitted it on the first one. However, with a lot of you know feedback and stuff, people are you know going from one field to the next or other things um, uh, or different. You know, one of the things I heard the most was, yeah, I have different field moisture content from this part of the row to this part of the row. So within a row, they maybe actually needed to have a little more throttle than they had before to get through a little bit of a damp patch in, the, in their We're going field. up a hill and down a hill. Yes, yes. So those are, if you're on a perfectly flat scenario, you really don't need the throttle from a typical operation, but not everyone's in that perfect scenario. So that's one thing we kind of changed in the handle area. Um, another thing is kind of the quick adjust and also the height range of adjust that's on it. Um, we, the other kind of had a, a quick adjust system too, but it wasn't always quite as smooth and easy as, as we want it to be. And so on both sides, there's a knob here that you can turn and it easily comes down and then you can tighten it up into the proper position or that's too low, I'm gonna start kind of picking where I want it to fit. And then when I find where I want it, then I can come back here and tighten it up. And so um, it's a lot easier to adjust um, from the lowest to any, any space, in the, uh, space in the middle all the way up. So if, if I wanna adjust it the whole way up, um, again, that's about it right there. But what I'm gonna do is just show you here, I'm six feet tall, this is, this is pretty tall. So from a height range of adjustment, we, we've improved quite a bit for taller operators. And then for, for shorter operators, we also have the same, um, it goes down just as far as it did before. Uh, additionally, we, we added a little bit of length, a couple inches here, so you have a little more toe room, so you're not kicking your tooling as you're going. So again, handlebar area seems like, eh, there's not much to go on there, but there's actually a lot of thought that went into and a lot of feedback that went into those changes. So. Well, another bigger change in the drive chain system is we've added what we call a mini differential. And as you know, in a car differential, the purpose of it is when you're making a turn, the outer wheels have to turn faster than the inner wheels. So this little mini differential makes turning easier, like when you come to 
the end of a row and you need to make a quick turnaround, your outer wheel turns and your inner wheel sometimes doesn't turn at all. So this system here we feel is more robust and going then also to a number 40 chain which is a heavier chain than the previous 415 chain that was on the original Power Ox. With all that piece there while you already have the shield off, one of the things I want to talk about is our kind of configuration options that change from the previous one to the, mm -hmm. to the new one. Um, in the 220 here, uh, this is the narrow setting with a fat tire, okay, the, the, the bar tire. And, and then we also had a narrow setting with, with a knobby tire. This got you to the narrowest possible setting that you could get with the, with the 220. But then we also have a wide setting. So you can have the wide with these, uh, with these fat tires or wide with the skinny tires. And so there was just all sorts of options that you kind of choose from that got a little bit sometimes confusing for people which one to get. And, um, and the new setup has the four inch tire, only one tire option, four inch bar lug tire. Um, actually, it's a, it's a bigger diameter, gives about two inches extra of ground clearance. But with this, you kind of might look at it and say, well, why is there this extra hanging out here? We have some different holes in here. You can actually adjust each wheel out two inches on each side. Um, so right now it's, it's set up to its narrowest setting, which is 16 and a quarter inches. If you go to the next hole slot, um, you get to 20 and a quarter, and then you go out to the farthest and you get to 24 uh, and a quarter. Now, the, the, the cool thing about this whole thing, if you look at the shaft, um, it's got these, um, that for your keyway and for your um, snap rings, uh, it's really easy to, to, to set the, your, your spacing and your um, alignment, getting all that right. That was one challenge with the previous one. When you go and change your setups, how do you get make sure your alignment on your chain is right where it needs to be? And so that does a much better job of allowing for, if you, you can get it this way, you can change it later without having to buy different components, um, and you can get it r dialed in right where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and some of the original features that we did move over to the new design is the hitch point. We've kept that just directly behind the axle so that it had, it's very responsive when you try to turn or make a correction when you're driving. Yeah, and that's a good point. I mean, we did bring a lot of knowledge that we ha you know, gained from this over to the new one and also a lot of the same features, but we did update and improve a lot of the features as well that we didn't even talk about today. Um, we kind of highlighted, wanted to focus on a couple that we felt were most commonly maybe requested, whether at trade shows, phone calls, current customers, interested customers that um, those were kind of some of the features that we felt were kind of key to kind of compare the two. Um, again, functionality and tension is the same. Um, it, they're both going to pull the tool and it's going to track really well. Um, so don't be sad that we have a new one. You have the older one that this is going to work out just well for you. Um, but again, we, we have learned some things and we want to continue to improve and learn on that. So. That's what we're here for is Tillmore, not just on the Power Rocks, but anything. Um, if you have questions, concerns, you know, Doug's our service manager. If you have stuff currently and you want to give him a call, uh, you have, just give him a call. I mean, we're, that's what we're here for. We want to know from you. One of the best parts of my day, our customers call in and we get have good conversations. We talk about how equipment's working. And so we do listen and we try to make improvements where we can. Uh, but we do appreciate your your feedback, so please give us a call. Yeah, and I think Doug always says good or bad, and that's, that's you know, right. I, I sit next to him in, in the office, and I, he said my favorite part of the day is, well, he deals with both the good and the bad, and that's what we're that's there right. to listen to. So, so do give us a call, um, Spanish or English. Uh, we're there. Um, subscribe on, on YouTube if you want to see more videos like this in the future and more products that are coming out. Mm -hmm. Thanks Hablamos for watching. Español. Yeah, see, sí, gracias.